everyone. I uh, thought of this topic just now. What is the purpose of sex? And it got me thinking a few things, and then I came to the conclusion that the purpose of sex is to get close to your soul. That's it. You're getting close to your soul. Now, what does that mean, getting close to your soul? It means feeling whole. So, you know, in previous videos I said that the purpose of sex is so that you have, um, so you have intimacy, fill a need, and the need comes from a yearning to reproduce. Yeah, it may be true on the ego perspective, from like an automated perspective, but from a deeper perspective, the reason why it's set up that way is because closeness is what brings reproduction. Um, when you come close to something, when you know something thoroughly, that's why in the biblical text, you knew your wife in order to have a child, in order to have relations. So too, you come close to yourself, you know yourself, and then you reproduce through that way. You know, and there's probably a philosophical reason why we're not a asexual reproducing, but um, theoretically, from a, this particular standpoint of philosophy, it makes you wonder that maybe we're supposed to. Maybe had we been a whole creature who, uh, who loved ourselves, we wouldn't need anyone else to reproduce. You know, and then you can like go to cells, like cells can reproduce. Why? Because they love themselves. Do they love themselves by the fact that they're uniform? That there's no variation? And should we want no variation? So, you know, you could probably throw out some of those ideas. But one of the, the truths is, is the wholesome, being whole with yourself is what creates uh, the ability to know yourself. And it creates the ability to, uh, to love yourself. And the whole point of bringing someone close to you is so that you can know yourself, be whole with yourself. And there's also the idea that when you have a sense of wholeness, a sense of uh, I'm not even, I'm not lacking, not lacking anyone or anything, then your body calms down, and then you can know the rest of yourself, the parts of you that were not accessed or not active, because you yourself are clogging it up by saying I need a woman or I need this or I need relations or I need all this. Once that's away, then you just feel relaxed. Uh, okay. Not about the relief of tension of, of getting sexual intercourse. It's the relief of tension of having what your craving is, is to draw close to someone. Now that I'm close to someone, I have the biological stuff figured out. And I can just know who I am. And then there are people who don't have trauma, so getting close to themselves could happen without a woman or without sex or without um, intimacy. And they feel intimate with themselves. So in that sense, you can even have sex with your spirit self. And some people could be satisfied with that. No doubt it probably needs imagination. Simultaneously, uh, there, it's also, there's also a powerful truth to it that if you know that your soul is you, you can actually be whole with yourself.